Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so happy you're here. Today I'm going to be doing a memory spread in my A5 disc bound planner and I'm going to be memory keeping the week of June 29th through July 5th. This is the week of Independence Day here in the U.S. as well as my birthday week. And so I'm going to be using some of the elements from this printable kit from Paper Crown Planner. So if you are interested in seeing this plan with me, then just keep watching. All right, so starting out here, I'm just going to white out pretty much everything on this insert. <laughs> I don't always white out absolutely everything in these, but this week some of the full boxes and elements I want to use are a little bit lighter, and because it's my birthday week, I just wanted it to look special, so I went through and whited just about everything out. And now I'm just going through and adding the date covers as well as the washi from the kit. And while I'm laying down this base, I guess I will talk a little bit about what's been going on. So this video is going up about a week later than I anticipated. I mentioned this on Instagram, but I recently moved. And last week was the week when we finally moved all of our furniture and big items to our new town home and oh my gosh guys I had planned to get this video up that week as well but it just it wasn't happening I totally underestimated the amount of time it would take to pack and move everything in our house and overestimated the amount of stuff I would be able to get done last week so that's why this video is going up late um but that is all right. So jumping back to the spread briefly, uh, the date dots I put down are silver foil date dots from Sadie Stickers. That was a $2 Tuesday. And then the washi I put at the bottom is just a five millimeter silver and white bow washi from Simply Gilded. And right now I'm going through and debating which full boxes to use because I loved all of them so much. And I wanted a nice mix of like July 4th themed things as as well as some birthday imagery with the gifts and dessert and things like that. So the week I filmed this is the week before we packed up my craft room and the week that we just started like packing some of the items and of course the like third thing I packed was just a box of stuff in our living room and I wasn't even doing like heavy lifting or anything like that but after I packed the box and went to move it I just I pinched something in my back and so my upper back hurt so bad while I was filming this spread to the point where I could only move my head like in one direction like I couldn't really turn my head to the right at all and it hurt to sit up straight and lean forward but I really wanted to film this before my craft room was packed up so I kind of like fought through the pain and tried to put this spread down but I will say if you are watching this and you think wow she is definitely struggling and everything is crooked you would be correct. I was struggling so much on this plan with me and everything I laid down is crooked. So just be ready for that. <laughs> So on my sidebar, I kind of framed my full boxes with more of that Simply Gilded washi, and then I actually cut some of the pink background off of one of the leftover full boxes just to make sure everything fit and was framed nicely in the sidebar area. And for this spread, I decided to bring in some headers. These were, I believe, either a freebie or like a PR girl freebie, I think from Saucy Sticker Co. Um, and they're just this simple white header with a beautiful like swirl heart design. And that is also silver foil. And then the next thing I'm adding is some mini drizzle dot banners. These are from Clever Gal Crafts. And I'm just adding that to Monday and Tuesday since those are the two days that I worked this week. 
And then finally, I wanted to add just a little more foil because it is my birthday week. And so I'm taking these super cute little bows. These are also from Sadie Stickers and a $2 Tuesday item. And I'm just layering those over some of the full boxes. But moving on to my plans, on Monday after work, I went on a walk around the neighborhood, and so I'm using a little girl from Fox and Cactus for that. And then in the evening, I responded to some YouTube comments, and that icon is from Stinkin' Happy. And then pretty much the rest of the night, I was super lazy, so I just marked that with a little Fox and Pip girl, and I did lay down a piece of washi tape just to fill in the extra space, and I pretty much immediately regretted that decision because I couldn't lift it back up and I knew the spread would look weird if I just had one random piece of washi. So I started adding lots of quarter boxes and other decorative pieces of washi, which is something I usually don't do in this planner. Um, and I really wish I didn't do it this week because as I said, I was struggling. And so, um, you know, a week that my back hurts and I can't lay anything down right, that's totally the week to start adding more decorative elements and things I can put down crooked. <laughs> oh, goodness. But um, back to my week. On Tuesday, um, pretty much the whole day was spent packing and getting our cars ready to bring stuff up to the new house. And so I just laid down a stinking happy girl to mark dropping off some donations, a little Mochi Kichi character to mark packing up our cars. And then that little coffee mug is also from stinking happy. And that was just to mark like prepping the coffee pot and putting together snacks for our trip. And then on Wednesday, I started the day by marking that it was payday, and then I'm using this little car icon layered over some washi from the kit to mark driving up to our new townhome, and then I'm using a little bow also from Stinkin' Happy just to mark that this was the first day that we could get into our new townhome, and so we got the keys and kind of walked around and actually saw our place in person for the first time because we were not able to tour it ahead of time due to COVID. Um, but then that evening when we got back home, I pretty much just played a bunch of Sims and binge watched Once Upon a Time. And so I'm using another little stinking happy character to mark that. I ended up sleeping in on Thursday, so I just took a little sleepy Fox and Pip character layered over a quarter box to mark that. And then during the day, I filmed a craft tutorial and went for a walk around the neighborhood. And so I used a little character from Every Minute a Story to mark filming and a little Memoji from Five Minutes of Happiness to mark the walk. And that evening I prepped my Friday freebie, which would be posted the next day. And that little laptop is from the Style Planner. Friday, I convinced my husband to drive back up to our new town home, which is about like an hour and 45 minutes away um, from where we used to live. And so we went back up there on Friday and pretty much spent the entire day cleaning because although I really love this town home and the layout and the neighborhood, it became very clear that my definition of clean and the landlord's definition of clean are a little bit different. And so um, I wanted to kind of just wipe everything down and dust and vacuum before we started moving in a lot of our stuff and our furniture. So we did that during the day, and then when we got back to our old house, we ended up getting some takeout from our favorite Mexican restaurant, and then in the evening, I just kind of relaxed um, and didn't do much, and so I'm using a tea time sticker from the Style Planner to just kind of mark that time in the evening. Saturday was Independence Day, and so I started by marking that with a flag from the kit, and then... After that, so my husband and I were debating whether or not we should hire movers or if we could do the move ourselves. And ideally, we wanted to do it ourselves just because it was significantly cheaper to do it that way. And so I used this little do it crab to mark moving our heaviest piece of furniture to prove to ourselves that we were physically capable of moving our heaviest furniture. I will note too, we moved this before I hurt my back, so it um, worked out just fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then um, just marking that we spent the day outside on our back porch and I'm using a little plant from the style planner to mark that and Sadly, when we got in from the porch, we realized our freezer was completely broken. So we ended up having to throw out a bunch of food in our freezer and fridge, which kind of stunk. Um, and then that evening, we just watched a movie and made popcorn and relaxed, which was really nice. And so I used some little emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. Sunday was my birthday, and so I started by marking that with another little blushy character from Stinkin' Happy, and Sunday was such a wonderful day. Um, we started by getting Panera breakfast to go, and then we went on a hike to see a waterfall that is pretty close to where we used to live. It was a hike that we've always wanted to do, and so I'm really glad we were able to do it on my birthday before we moved out of the area. And then when we got back from the hike, I was exhausted, so I ended up just falling asleep on the couch and taking a nap that afternoon. And when I woke up in the evening, we went and got ice cream because that is what I wanted for my birthday treat. And when we got back from that, I FaceTimed with both sides of the family, um, so both my husband's family and my family, which was really nice since I couldn't celebrate with anyone really in person. Um, so it was really great to just see everyone but yeah guys that will do it for this spread I will just put it in my planner here and let you see all of the foil wonderful goodness I really love how this week turned out I think even with all of my very crooked quarter boxes it still turned out super cute I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button for me so I know and subscribe if you are interested in other crafting planning and DIY videos videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!